Hello students, I hope you are doing beautiful mathematics. This is Ashwini from Chinta.com. Today, we will discuss a very interesting theorem from geometry. In particular, this theorem is the starting point of projective geometry. So we discuss projective geometry in our Math Olympiad program, in the Advanced Math Olympiad program. It's a beautiful way of looking at geometric problems and solving interesting problems. So the Varignon theorem, though it is surprisingly simple, it was not discovered until fairly recently. Uh, in the times of Euclid or later in times of Popus, it was actually not discovered or not written down very clearly. So what is it? It's quite simple actually. Suppose you have any quadrangle. Quadrangle means a figure with four angles. Four angles. So one, two, three and four. In any quadrangle, if you draw the midpoints of the three si four sides, so let's say one, two, three, and four. If you draw the midpoints, and if you join them up, if you join them up, then you will get a parallelogram. You will get a parallelogram that is half the area of the quadrangle. So the claim is if this quadrangle is a b c d and if this quad uh, quadrilateral is p q r s then p q r s is a parallelogram that's the first claim the second claim is that the area of PQRS is half of the area of ABCD. So how do we go about it? There are uh, quite a few ways of solving this problem. First of all, since we are dealing with a quadrangle, it may not be a convex quadrilateral. So here comes the challenge questions that I will be asking at the end of this video. There are other types of quadrangles. For example, this is an example of a quadrangle. Okay, so A, B, C and D. One of the diagonals will be inside the quadrangle and the other diagonal that I'm drawing in yellow is outside the quadrangle. So this is another example of a quadrangle. There is yet another example, which is kind of like this. A, B, A, B C, and D. D. Here, both the diagonals are actually outside the quadrangle. For this final case, we have to take help of an idea called signed area to make sense of this entire thing. I will do the first case and then I will give you as a challenge for the other two cases. Let's look at the first case. The key construction to solve this problem is to draw the diagonals. So let me draw the diagonal. Let's join BD. And immediately we notice that in ABD triangle, P is the midpoint of AB and S is the midpoint of AD. So clearly PS, the line joining the two midpoints, PS is half of BD and parallel to BD. So PS is half of BD and PS is parallel to BD. Both of these conclusions are from the midpoint theorem. What is the midpoint theorem? The midpoint theorem says that if in any triangle, 
you have two points in the two sides of the two midpoints of two sides if you join them that piece will be parallel to the third side and half of the third side similarly we can use the triangle bcd to notice rq is half of bd and rq is parallel to bd so therefore ps is equal to rq and ps is parallel to rq because both of them are parallel to bd so we found that in pqrs one pair of opposite sides are equal and parallel that makes it a parallelogram that's a theorem right if you have any quadrilateral where a pair of opposite sides are equal and parallel they will be a parallelogram that particular quadrilateral is a parallelogram so we proved the first claim that pqrs is a parallelogram now let's look at the second claim what is the second claim well the second claim is this that the area of pqrs is half of the area of abcd now i will just do one step you have to do four steps i will do one step what i'll do is i'll just find out the area of this little piece a p s so how do i do that i'll drop a perpendicular from a on b d the perpendicular will also be perpendicular to p s because p s and b d are parallel so whatever is perpendicular to b d will be perpendicular to p s now we are almost done because if this point is x and this point is y then what is the area of triangle APS the shaded region it is half of AX that is AY half of AX is AY again i'm using the midpoint theorem times half of BD half of bd is ps ps is half of bd so base into height times half that is the area of triangle aps that means area of triangle aps is 1/4 of the area of triangle abd this multiply half and half and then half times ax times bd is the area of triangle abd so this little piece is one fourth the area of triangle ABD. Similarly, this little piece will be one fourth the area of triangle BCD. And this will almost complete the proof. You have to do the last line. So I'll give you two challenges. One is think about the area of these two pieces and prove that pqrs is half of abcd and the second challenge is reprove the same theorem for the other two types of quadrangles when when one of the diagonals is outside the quadrangle and when both the diagonals are outside the quadrangle if you can do it put in the comment section i will see you in the next video keep on doing great mathematics if you are interested in mathematical olympiads isi cmi entrances research for school students or leadership programs that lead to ivy league universities check the link in the description we have fantastic programs for that thank you everyone i'll see you in the next one bye